Oh, your predictions are hopeless, aren't they? Oh, I'm useless. Get your foot off the couch. Is that all right? Just showing off your shoes, yes. Crocodiles are nice. How are you feeling? You were sure you were staying. <laughs> it's, the, um, it's the only way to get through the week, I think, for me. To, com to be positive be about positive, it all? Be positive, because otherwise it would just do my head in, so... How many weeks have you been nominated, can you remember? Uh, five. Five times. I think the people keep counting them wrong or something, the votes. I don't oh, know. really? I don't know what's going on. We can count that high, you know. Sure, well, I'm having difficulty. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you take a breather, why don't we have a look first at who nommed you, OK? All right, let's stop me. Because we always stop want to know in. who did it. I nominate the... hot dogs. I think that Hot Dogs is not being um, his true self as much as he. I think that he could be, and I think this is a part of his strategy. He's doing certain things in order to, um, <laughs> as he says, get fans. For one point, I'm nominating Hot Dogs. His arrogance is really taking, really annoying me. It feels so surreal, like I feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. And it's frustrating because, you know, I really do value him, but at the same time, he's not giving me the respect I deserve. Oh. Now, what do you think about that? Was um, Kate right? I thought, no, look, in, in the house, I just wanted to be, I wanted to give everyone an opportunity to get to know me, and I didn't want to be in a house when I didn't like people, so I really did make an effort. Um, but I was surprised with Christy because I, I really do love Christy. She's gorgeous. But everybody, yeah. as we say, always has to nom. Yeah, someone. no, you do, you do. But yeah. do you feel that you treated her with respect and spoke to her? Oh, um, well, she got arrogance wrong. I'm confident. I'm not arrogant, am I? Well, I don't know. I haven't. <laughs> Why don't we do? Who thinks he's confident? Hands up. Who thinks he's arrogant? Hands up. Okay, so the arrogance have it. We yes, have a okay. whole journey to share with you in the Big Brother house. Are you feeling calm? I'm feeling good. All yeah. right, well, we have a look at how many people voted for you because obviously... We'll be here for a long time, won't we? Well, we're not looking at them individually. <laughs> here we are, over here. 53% to hot dogs, 32% to a faceless person and 15% to another faceless one. That's reasonably convincing, isn't it? That's pretty convincing. I wonder <laughs> what behaviour it was that made people feel like that. Um, we might talk about it after the break, shall we? Sounds good. Yeah, stay with us because after the break we get down and dirty with the dogs. Uh, we'll, we're doing a little hot dogs corner segment. It'll probably get a little bit crazier as the weeks go by. You better watch out. You better look twice. You better not blink, I'm telling you why. It's going to get weird on hot Hugs corner. You watch me when I'm sleeping. You watch me when I'm awake. So if you love the dog, just switch your knob, and I'll be on your TV screen. It's gonna get weird on hot dogs. It's gonna get weird on hot dogs. It's gonna get weird on hot dogs corner. I love the whole process about this show. And of course, I love all the mirrors and being on camera. When, you know, like one of my biggest right problems with hot dogs is that he's brilliant. always posing to the cameras. <laughs> it makes it so much harder for me to be able to forget that there are cameras yeah, for every does, single one of these mirrors. Dance, take a chance, take romance, looking fancy in the pants. You can give up your day job. All along, I've just wanted to be in here and um, get an opportunity to get in front of the camera. Come on, give it up. But my goal was to be in here for four weeks because I thought four weeks would give me enough time to uh, show people that I was an entertainer. Hot dogs, me, the top dog, 17 older egos. Welcome back to Big Brother's live eviction number eight. I'm with tonight's evictee hot dogs. And our live audience. Okay, now, what we want to do 
is look at your journey in the house. Okay. Because it seemed to me that with Hot Dogs World and a bit of the posing and you... You were prepared for an experience in the house. Yes. When you first went in, was it what you were actually anticipating? <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't. Why? Um, I was blown away. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be. What did you think it would be like? I just thought it would be a cakewalk, you know, a lot of booze, everyone just being loose and having fun. And I'm not used to being told what to do, and it was a rude awakening. <laughs> and how did you deal with that, with people telling you what to do? Um, I think I dealt with it all right. Put a smile on my face. And just went about my business. And but I, I know when I was watching the packages on the first night when you went in, and the, you know, it was all full of life, and yeah, I'm so confident, and this and this and this. And I watched you in the house, and then you just were, you were quiet. Yeah. You know, you just spent several weeks being quiet. What was that about? Well, I mean, look, the hardest thing was um, not seeing my father. Um, I, knew, I knew when I came in here, <laughs> I knew when I came, in, came into the Big Brother house it was, it was going to be tough, um, but obviously just didn't have any idea of uh, what effect it would have on me not being able to see my dad. But did you, because uh, your dad's been ill and you look yeah. after him with your mum. That's right. That's a big part of your day to day life. Or Massive weekly. part, yeah. Okay, so what were your thoughts? I mean, you must have anticipated it would be difficult when I, you went in. I did, but dealing with all the emotions you've got to deal with, you know, being stuck in a house 24 7 with all those people that you don't know and then having the biggest part of your life taken away from you um, was really challenging. Uh, getting that video message definitely gave me an unfair advantage in the house. Um, I wouldn't have lasted more than four weeks if uh, you reckon I had you wouldn't. Have? Were you feeling no guilty way. about leaving, you know, not being around mum and dad? I was. Um, I was really worried. I, I, look, I know mum's strong. I know she would have been good, but I was. I was really worried about my dad. And um, seeing that video message, seeing mum and dad, they look great. And All right. Well, let's have a look at you getting the video message when we suddenly got the other hot, bog, hot dogs back right after that, didn't we? Over here. Not seeing my dad is a, is a hard thing. And not feeling comfortable to share that with anyone in the house is a, is a hard thing. Just, just over three years ago, two days before my 24th birthday, my old man had a massive stroke. I've spent my life working and looking after my dad. And he's the greatest person I've ever known, ever will know, have ever met. He's done so many things. And everything about me coming here was for my old man. I mean, I pray to God every single night. I've done it every single time I've been here. I pray every night for my old man and my mum. Oh, I miss him so much. Regardless of anyone's opinion of what they think of me, I nominate myself because uh, I would really like to um, have that message. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry I'm crying, but um, you know, he just means he means everything to me, my old man. <laughs> and that's why I really wanted that video message, just to say that he was alright. And um, he is. Um, <laughs> and if I've got this for the next 30 minutes, so if anyone wants to watch it again um, with me, they're, they're more than welcome, man. <laughs> I just want to be able to give my old man everything I can because he gave me everything and oh, I just hate being away from him. Now, um, your dad couldn't be here today no. and your mum was here last week. Was she? You've exhausted all of your friends and family by being nominated so many times. <laughs> I bet, I bet. Flying people over from Perth, but your mum sent this message and she wanted it to be read out loud by you. And they're watching now, we know. <laughs> We're sorry we can't be with you tonight. We love you very, very much and can't wait to give you a big hug. <laughs> love mum and dad. That's mum and dad. <laughs> Things. You didn't have your family outside the house.